Welcome to this video which is about wood measurement before sawing. In this video we are going to learn how to measure the wood from this wood block. That is how much cubic feet wood we can get from this wood block. In this video we will discuss the calculating formula and the formula explanation. Now let's see the calculating formula. This is our wood block. At first, we take the measurement of circumference at one point of this wood block and take another measurement of this circumference that is the round length at another point. Be careful, take these two measurements at two different points and we take in that place where the wood block is different size. We take one circumference where the circumference is the maximum and we take another circumference where the circumference is the minimum and we take this circumference in inch. After taking these two round measurement, that is the circumference, we take the average of these two value and then take the length of this wood log which is in feet. The wood log is how much feet long. That is take the length in feet. Then this one is our formula. That is the circumference in inch times the circumference in inch and times the length in feet and divided by 2304. This formula will give the best approximation that how much wood we can get from this wood block after sign. Now, this circumference is the value of this average circumference and that is we put this average value here also here. That is the average circumference times the average circumference times the length in feet. That is this length in feet divided by 2304. This will give the value of wood in cubic feet. And this value is the best approximation. Now let's see one calculation. That is one example. Suppose this is our wood log. We measure the circumference here which is 50 inches which is maximum and we take another circumference here which is 40 inches which is minimum and then the length of this log which is 5 feet. Now remember we have to take the circumference that is this this round measurement in inches and the length measurement in feet. Now Average these two round measurement, that is two circumference, that is 50 plus 40 divided by 2, which is 45. Now we take this value, that is 45 is our average circumference. Substitute this value, that is 45 and this 5 in the formula, that is, that is 45 times this 45 again, times 5 feet long, this 5, divided by 2304. After calculation, we get 10125 divided by 2304, which will give the value 4.39 cubic feet approximate. So, if we have one wood log, for which the maximum circumference is 50 inches and the minimum circumference is 40 inches, and the wood log is 5 feet long, in that case, we can get 4.39 cubic feet wood after sawing. Let's see one alternative formula. That is, in this formula, we use the diameter of the log. Suppose this is our wood log. In this case, we measure the diameter of this log. That is, this one is the diameter of this log. And we take this diameter where this diameter is the maximum. We take another diameter where the diameter is minimum. And then, average these two diameter. And we take this diameter in inch and the length in feet, same as the previous. After getting the average, we just see the formula, that is diameter in inch times diameter in inch times the length in feet, divided by 233.44. In this case, this diameter is the average value, and here also the average value, and the length is here, divided by 233.44, which will give the best approximation, that is, similar as the previous one, how much wood we can get from this wood log. Now let's see one example. Suppose this one is our wood log. We take first diameter which is 20 inches and the second diameter which is 18 inches. And this one is the maximum diameter and this one is the minimum diameter. 
the length of this log is 5 feet. So, the average of these two diameter, which is 20 plus 18 divided by 2, which is 19. Now, the formula, that is, the average diameter is here, and average of diameter is here also, and the length is here. That is, 19 inch times 19 inch times 5 feet, divided by 2, 3, 3, 4, and 4, 4. After calculation, we get 1805 divided by 233.44, which is 7.73 cubic feet approximately. In this formula, we measure the diameter of log at two places, then average that two measurement, that is the average of the diameter, then average of diameter times average of diameter times the length in feet, divided by 233.44, which will give the approximation of how much would we can get from this wood block. Now, the explanation about the formula. This formula is work as this one. That is, if we consider this one is our circumference, and with this circumference, if we draw one square and another small square within this, that is, if we Consider this one is the circumference, and here we draw two square. One is one square is inscribed in this circle, and another square where the circle is inscribed. The average of these two value, that is, after taking this one as a base, and in this length the volume, and this one as a base, and this length that volume. The average of these two volume is like that formula. That is, the minimum one will be taking this one as a base and this length, the volume, and the maximum will be taking this one as a base and this length. And the average of these two volume is the value which we get from that formula. Now, let's see the measurement chart. This one is our measurement chart. That is, here the length. That is, the length of the lock is 3 feet, 4 feet, 5 feet, 6 feet, 7 feet, 8 feet. We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 CFT wood from any wood lock if the average circumference is 27.75 inch. That is, that is 3 feet long one wood lock and 27.75 as the average circumference. In that case, we will get 1 CFT wood. And in that case, you see here, if any 3 feet long wood block, which have 48 inch circumference, that is the average circumference is 48 inch, in that case, we can get 3 CFT wood. Similarly, if we want to get 7 CFT from this 3 feet long wood lock. In that case, the average circumference will be 73.32 inch. If any 3 feet long wood lock have 73.32 inch average circumference, in that case, we can approximately get 7 CFT wood from that wood lock. Similarly, if the length of wood lock is 4 feet, in that case, if the average circumference is 24 inch, in that case, we can get 1 CFT wood. And if the average circumference is 48 inch, in that case, we can get 4 CFT wood. Similarly, for the 5 feet, 6 feet, 7 feet, and 8 feet wood log, that is 5 feet long, 48 inch average circumference, we can get 5 CFT wood. So, this one is the interesting fact, that is, 3 foot long, then 3 CFT, if the average circumference is 48 inch. 4 feet long, 4 CFT, if the circumference or average circumference is 48.00 inch. Similar for the 5 feet, 6 feet, 7 feet, and 8 feet. In this way, we can measure, that is, how much wood we can get from any wood lock after sawing the, using this table. That is, this one is the length and these value are the value of average circumference 
and if we take this average circumference this one is the 7 feet and if that is the if the 7 feet long wood lock have 44.44 inch average circumference in that case from that wood lock we can get 6 safety wood after sign 